Hey everyone, Lutz Lounge here. In this video, I'm gonna cover the Core Melt Drive X plugin for Final Cut Pro X. I have been using this, and it's a little bit more of an older product, but I still have been using this lately, and I have all of the um, Core Melt products, but I wanted to show you an example of where you may want to highlight something, draw like a box around something in uh, in your videos, and you want to highlight that specific things. And you don't want to go through keyframing and tracking and doing all that stuff manually. You can actually use the Core Melt Drive X plugin to help with that. So I have this clip here, and I want to draw a box around this sign to kind of highlight it a little bit. And the way I'm going to do that is through the Core Melt 2 Drive plugin here. I'm going to go down here once you have this installed, and they have uh, a, uh, a, a a filter, basically an effect uh, called Track Shape Outline. This will allow you to draw a box around something uh, in your um, in your clips. Uh, you can do a freehand box, or you can uh, do a regular shape there. But I'm just going to drag this over here. And this will give me some uh, tracking options. This will give me a, a box to start out with, but we have these options over here. And I'm gonna choose this uh, polygonal uh, tool over here. This will allow me to kind of freehand draw it a little bit. And I'm gonna punch into my video here to about 200%. And all, all I need to do here is just click on the four corners of this sign. So click right here, go up to the top, and then complete this uh, square there and now you can see we have a box drawn on there uh, we have uh, red dots here but I'm gonna actually take those point sizes of those dots off and I'm gonna change my color to yellow just to make sure it stands out and I'm gonna go to my line thickness here to right around there so now what we need to do is go ahead and track this so you can see it's not moving with the video so the way I'm going to do that is go over to here and you can see we have a track backward and track forward I'm gonna click track forward and let that start doing its tracking automatically this will be done automatically I don't have to do any keyframing or matching or anything like that this will automatically do that so we'll wait till this finishes okay so it has already finished and tracking the object so now if we were to play this you can see that it's moving with and uh, tracking that uh, that rectangle there, and it looks perfect. Now, one thing that uh, this this is a great effect by itself, but one thing that I like to do uh, is actually to make a duplicate of this clip. And this is not going to be used for every scenario, but uh, this is kind of a good way of doing this. I'm going to duplicate that clip so now both of them track, and I'm going to go to this first one, and I'm just going to delete the tracking. And now I'm going to take that duplicated clip and put it on top. And now let's say when this moves over, I want the transition, uh, there'd be a transition there. So it looks maybe like the box is being drawn around instead of just, you know, placed on there. So all I'm going to do here is just shorten this clip up a little bit. And since this is a duplicated clip, this transition will be very seamless. I'm going to go to my transitions here. I'm going to get the, uh, under the, the basic transitions under the wipes, I'm going to go to clock. And I'm going to drag this over here. I'm going to delete this one at the end because we really don't need that one. Now, as we were to play this, you can see that the box is drawn around instead of just appearing out of nowhere. Again, it's just drawn around there and boom. So that's a really great way of highlighting something in your in your videos without having to do a bunch of keyframing. Uh, this is not a paid endorsement for uh, Core Melt. I, I just use their products. I very very uh, I find them very useful in my daily workflow. So if you want to learn more about the Core Melt products, I put a link in the description down below, and you can see all of the cool things that they can do. But again, this is not a paid endorsement. This is just a, uh, a showcase basically showing you the stuff that I use on a daily basis. Thank you for joining me in this video. I'll see you in the next one.